how does God speak to prophets? Do they hear a voice from above or from within or I'm very sister, curious. Thank you very much. Sister, I don't like to talk about myself, but the sister is asking me a question about how God speaks to the prophet. Well, he speaks through visions, through visions. They see a vision and God speaks to them and tells them things and says, do this and that. He speaks through prophecy, through that same person prophesying. So they are talking and God is the one speaking. And he speaks through revelation, which we really can't explain how the revelation is, but there is an answer. When the brothers and the sisters ask me a question, and when the question is being asked and it's in the Bible, God is giving me the revelation of the answer. He is giving me the idea and the answer, and I have the answer before the question is even over. When, when a person has a hardship, a difficulty, tribulation, and they say, well, I, I have this issue, I, have, I don't know what to do, well, immediately God is giving the revelation, telling them to do this or that, to travel or not, or to wait, that they will be healed, that's how it comes. And I can't explain how. It's not voices. It's not voices. It's a feeling, an idea that comes to the heart and to the thoughts. And it's a matter of seconds. That's it. It comes suddenly. It comes. That answer comes first before even the question. And that's the way that God speaks to the prophets. And in dreams, he also speaks. And he may be, it's as if inside of you, there is someone who is giving you information. But it's not voices. You don't hear voices. But it's like an idea. It's like a feeling. It's like something that comes and is there. Like an abstract language there are no words to truly explain it. And I share this in my own experience. And I think that's how God also spoke to the prophets. So perhaps maybe you're looking at someone, you don't even know them, but there's a revelation that comes from God saying, that person, this is going to happen to them, or they have this or that, or they're going to receive a blessing. That's it. And so that's how God would speak to the prophets through dreams, prophecy, by even their own mouth. When I pray, God speaks as well through my own lips. But sometimes there comes abstract revelation, like when people ask questions, there is an, an answer that comes. I have an idea, but it's not because I studied it, and, but it came instantaneously. So I have an answer. And so that's the way in which God speaks to the prophets and in dreams as well. And so that's it, sister. That's it. It's difficult sometimes to explain. But in my life, I was very curious of how the Lord would speak to Jeremiah and Ezekiel because it would say, and the word of the Lord came. And I thought, well, how is that? When I began to live those experiences, God showed me that that's how he would speak to the prophets. And I stopped feeling envious of these prophets. I stopped feeling that envy of thinking, oh, well, how was that? What is that like? The Lord allowed me to live that reality so that I could understand it. But it is hard to explain. It is hard because there are no words to truly explain what it is. And that revelation especially, it's easier to explain a vision or a prophecy and a dream. But revelation, which is what God gives me in the Bible studies, that's difficult to explain. Until a person lives it themselves, they will understand. This is why I am so happy standing before the church, before the congregation. Whenever I open the Bible and when you ask questions, I'm happy, brothers and sisters. Do you know why? Because I don't need to study anything in there and do research for you because the Lord gives me the answer immediately. Whenever you ask the question, because I don't know what you're going to ask, and when you ask something and I think, wow, I, I never had thought about it in this way in which that question is being asked. That's interesting. 
in that moment, the question is done and the answer is there because the Lord gives it to me. He gives me that. I don't know. And so people say, oh, you're intelligent, but that's not the case. It's God who is giving me the revelation of these things. And I learn and I'm very happy and people learn and are delivered because the Lord is there ready to deliver people of all of these other things. And so the sister, when she asked a question about witchcraft, they told her that she had been had witchcraft done when she was a child. Well, the Lord immediately revealed to me and said, what witchcraft? She no longer has witchcraft because she is following me. And so that's why I say these things. I speak them. Only that I can tell her, well, the Lord just revealed to me that you no longer have any witchcraft. I do so, and I say it in a more mature way, and I say, well, don't think about that anymore. You have nothing. Because that's what God is revealing to me. But I don't tell them like a command or sending a message, God saying, well, the Lord says, but the Lord has taught me the way of replying and answering, and that is enough. And that's the way that we serve the Lord. The experiences, the spiritual experiences with the Lord. This is why, brothers and sisters, I am so happy when I open the Bible and I stand before a person or two or three or four or 2,000, 10,000, and they ask me questions, I learn. And I am delighted in God's word. I am delighted when he gives me these wonderful answers. And so, no one raises a hand up to say that I am teaching lies or contradictions because it's not me. What I'm giving you is not me. It's God who's giving it to me. And so, brothers and sisters, this is why I get straight to it. I go securely. This is why I am so confident, 100% confident, and I get straight to it and I open my mouth because... All I do is open my mouth and let myself be led by God. Nothing more. That's it. And so that's why I give the glory to God. And I want and I long with all my heart that all of you, that you who are watching me on this video or who will see me later on, that you prepare yourself with your heart to serve God in this way or even better, in a even better way in that you surpass me in serving God, that you surpass me in service to God and in loving him and that God may use you as great teachers of God. That is what I desire and I ask the Lord for.